I mean, it's creepy as hell. But yeah, I can see you. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it right now. Whatever, ragdoll. Hurry your ass, ass up, fool. Oh. That wasn't the only ragdoll that got aired out last night at that garage always. They also aired out a bleach head. Why the hell would they shoot Daryl? He ain't never did nothing to nobody. Stay ready. Stay ready. Baby bro, you copy? It seems Fish and Carlita was here last night, Jack. They shot Daryl and another ragdoll named Stay Ready. They're both in the hospital now. What's up, baby bro? How you feeling? So what's up with your ragdoll, Daryl? Daryl? You heard me, convict. Are you talking about Bleachhead Daryl? The one and only. He was a hell of a mechanic back in the day. I'll put you in the headlock and fall with you. You better get away from me. Can I get some of those Lucky Charms? Nobody touches me Lucky Charms, especially FBI. No wonder your stomach's like that. Andy, 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 if your ass don't open that door. Now I know you're not knocking on my door like the damn police. Candy, have you lost your rabbit ass mind? So who you think won the battle? Kendrick Lamar or Drake? Ragdoll, please. For you to even ask that question, let me know that we should not be talking hip hop. I'm just trying to make conversation, Ragdoll. What's your name is? Stay ready. What about you? They call me Nino. So how'd you lose your arm, Nino? In the military. Damn, so you jumped on a grenade and saved your whole platoon or something? You better know it, Ragdoll. Straight up, I was just joking around. That's what happened for real? Hell nah, Ragdoll. I was made in the 80s. I'm 50% polyester. I was messing around one night on watch trying to sneak and smoke a blunt, drop the ash on my stomach and lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Needless to say, they kicked my plain puppet ass straight out the military. You a damn fool. A fool who ain't got to take orders no damn mo. I know that's right. Which one of you ragdolls to stay ready? The ragdoll with his left arm ripped off and his eyes open. Who's asking? FBI. And I got questions I need answers to. Stand down, flowers. You're treating him like he's a suspect. He happens to be the victim here. Ain't nobody no victim. Those ragdolls gonna get what they got coming to them. And you can put that on your own cotton ball. Is the motorcycles the only thing they took out of that garage? Shit, as far as I know, it ain't like I took inventory on everything. We just bought that garage. With your funny looking ass. I'm going upstairs to see what Daryl knows. Daryl? It seems Fish and Carlito took him hostage and such. They shut him after they shut you, stay ready. All this over some damn motorcycles. The car that Fish and Carlito was in is over at your garage, stay ready. I figure if they take your motorcycles, you can damn well have the car. We'll let you know if we find out anything. Stay ready. What up, though? That ragdoll Daryl that y'all are talking about. Does he got two armbands and a funny looking hat? I think so. Only seen him a couple of times. My brother be selling bleach to him. I don't know him. Shit, if we talking about the same Daryl, I was in the military with that rag dog. Baddest mechanic on the base. Daryl. Daryl. Bleach head ass Daryl. Well, that's some new shit he done started doing. He ain't do it back then. Flowers. What the hell, Sarge? I don't know what you're hiding, Flowers, but it's damn well past time for you to be telling me. This rag doll, Daryl. He's more than what you think he is. Well, out with the information then, Ragdoll. Tell me who he is. I can show you better than I can tell you. Come on. Hold it right there, Daryl.
damn your filthy ass stank. When's the last time you washed that nasty ass fabric? You smell like a bag full of assholes. Hit the alarm flowers. Yep, that's the same Daryl. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Get your nasty ass out of here. Smelling like shit on a stick. But don't just stand there, Tin Can! Get his ass! How your ass gonna let him bop you in the head with a dirty ass bedpan? Now I gotta call you Boo Boo Ass Droid. Get your ass up and get after him, Boo Boo! You take the stairs, I'll take the elevator! I'm taking the elevator! Your stomach says he wants to take the stairs! You about to get it in with your ragdoll Daryl, ain't you? You better know it, puppet. It ain't easy having pals. Shit, I'm going. I can't stand those mark-ass 5 buster pigs. That sergeant seemed pretty solid. Yeah, but that funny-looking-ass FBI agent got one of those faces. I just want to punch his ass. Say less, ragdoll. Let's skirt. Hold it, Daryl. We just want to talk. I picked a hell of a day to stop eating me Lucky Charms. Shit. Your big stomach ass needs some lucky vegetables. And you show this is gonna work. More oxygen gives you more boost. Hell yeah, it's gonna work, puppet. I sure hope so. It ain't like we the ones in trouble. We helping your rag doll out. You might want to tell this tin can that shit, because this damn show look like you coming for us. Oh shit, time to go! Damn, he is out there bad! I told you! Damn, Ragdoll, you smell like Badussy! When's the last time you took a shower, Ragdoll? Are you talking to me? Huh? What? Never mind, Ragdoll, I ain't said shit. Excuse me. your ass don't open this door. Now I know you're not knocking on my door like the damn police. Candy, have you lost your rabbit ass mind? Have you seen Antoine? And who the hell is a Antoine? Antoine Rockamora, half plain puppet and half Samoan. Everybody call him Tony Rocky Hara. Hold on for a minute. I think I hear my damn phone ringing. Antoine? You got my damn puppet calling you Antoine? You better not say a goddamn word. If he says a word, I want you to shoot his fat ass. Affirmative. Hell no, I ain't seen that rag dog. Are you sure, baby? Cause ain't nobody seen him since you had him take me out when you was out of town last week. I said I ain't seen the damn rag dog. Now, if you don't mind, can I get back to my damn money? I just know how your crazy ass get. And are you still taking me out tonight? Didn't I say I was taking your raggedy ass out tonight? You better watch how you handle me, ragdoll, because I ain't got no problem shooting a puppet. And I damn sure ain't got no problem choking me a puppet. 
And another damn. My. God damn it. Just be ready in about two hours. With your funny looking ass. Ragdoll, I'm about to stick my foot so far up your disrespectful ass. You about to be throwing up cotton balls and shoe polish for the next seven weeks, Ragdoll. But boy, shut your raggedy disrespectful ass up. And you stay shut the hell up until shutting the hell up needs to be shut the hell up. God damn it. Who the hell is this? What the hell, boss? What are you having, a bad day or something? I'm about to rip every bit of stuffing out of Antoine's ass over here. Who the hell is Antoine? That disrespectful rag doll, Tony Rocky Hara. Tony Rocky Hara? Well, where the hell are you getting Antoine from, boss? Candy told me his name was Antoine. Whoa, 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 boss. You mean to tell me that Candy, your puppet Candy, told you that his real name was Antoine? Is that what you're telling me, boss? That's exactly what I'm telling your raggedy ass, puppet. Oh, you stand. We got a problem over here. Hey, Vinny. Vinny. Yeah, Danny, I'm trying to load these containers. What do you want? Tell me you know Tony. You know Tony? Tony who? Rocky Hara? Yeah, Rocky Hara. Get this. His real name is Antoine. Antoine, how'd you find that out? Tony told Candy his name was Antoine. Tell me you're not talking about the boss's candy. Because if you're talking about the boss's candy, boss needs to be dangling his ass over a balcony right now. It's super disrespectful. You don't pillow talk with the boss's candy. Did you hear that, boss? Did you hear what Vinny said? Vinny said you need to be dangling his ass over the balcony. I tend to agree with him, boss. He's making you look like an asshole. Damn it, Ragdoll, you got the whole crew looking at me like I'm some damn asshole. Take his ass to the balcony. And why the hell did your tin can ass call me in the first place? We called about the two containers that you wanted me to keep an eye out for, boss. They're here. Me and Vinny got them loaded up on a transport now. And you damn show for show better not let that muscle-headed ass captain know anything about him either. Come on, boss. You're busting my 5 16th metal balls over here. You think I'm gonna let the captain know about this? I pencil whipped the manifesto myself. And how long before your metal ass get to Lost Velvet? Three. Four days at the most, boss. We'll be there. Your metal ass better be, because if not, I'm selling your rusty ass as scrap metal. Say hello to the bad guy. Much longer before we get to that transport, cowboy. We're about 20 minutes out, but it leaves in 10, which means we got some more ass to be hauled. Is your ass gonna be able to keep up? You gonna be able to eat solid food with no teeth? How's Carlito doing? He looks like an old mangy dog, but he's breathing. How the hell your ass plan on getting on this transport ship? We gonna ride right up on one of those ship container lifts, and it's gonna lift us up right in the bottom of that transport. Just like that. Just ride up to the lift, right? Well... Here comes the bullshit. There is gonna be a few T999s that we gotta get past. But it ain't like we gotta take them out. We just gotta get past. So once we hit that dock, I need for you two to fall behind me and get lower than a bow-legged caterpillar, and then we gonna do this. And just what exactly are we supposed to be doing, cowboy? Well, hell, you see that big-ass cow pusher I got in the front of my pickup truck? Well, a damn show ain't for pushing cows. On the turf, well, let's get it then. Well, all right. Woohoo!
I see why that Mark ass 5 old Buster Pig gave you this car. Do you know what this is, Ragdoll? This shit here is a classic. A 64. Your plain puppet ass need glasses. All oh, this look like a big pile of scrap metal. Come on, Nino. A little bit of body work. Slap some paint on this bad boy. This shit gonna be sweet. You sound like Daryl, crazy ass. Speaking of, Daryl. Say, Ragdoll. I got some Febreze over there in the office if you wanna skeet skeet. No, 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 no. I need to hide. I need to hide. I don't see too many hiding places over here. I guess you can hide in one of those boxes over there. Downstairs. We need to go downstairs. We on the ground level, Ragdoll. That funky ass fabric got you delusional. And me with a damn headache. Right here. Right here. Now I know damn well that ragdoll ain't that high where he fell through that hole like that. Shit, that bleach look like it's some of that ooh-wee. Payow! Huh? Huh? Oh, hey, 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 hey. Daryl, what's going on between you and these mark-ass 5 old buster pigs? Hold on. Before you get into that story, can you please take your funky ass back upstairs and get that Febreze? You already got this whole area smelling like horse hiccups. I want to know everything that happened on that date when your fat ass took candy out. We didn't do anything, boss. I took her to get something to eat like you said. I took her home. I gave her a foot massage and I went directly to the crib. A foot massage? Your fat ass gave my pup pet a foot massage. It was just a foot massage, boss. It didn't mean anything. I've given a hundred massages to a hundred different pup pets. And they all meant something, Ragdoll. That's what makes them so freaking cool. She knows it. You know it. And you damn well should have known that I would know it. It was a foot massage, boss. And your fat ass should have known better. I bet you call yourself the foot freaking master, don't you? Bet you got your technique down with no tickling or nothing, don't you fat ass? It's not like that, boss. It's exactly like that, ragdoll. You might as well have been bumping uglies with her, god damn it. Bumping uglies with her and, 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 and a foot massage is two totally different things, boss. It's the same damn ballpark. It's not the same ballpark. It's not even the same sport. Well, how about me then, fat ass? Would you give me a foot massage? Huh? Come on, boss. That's not even fair. What about Donnie or Vinny? Would you give they ass a foot massage with your fat ass? That's exactly what I thought, Ragdoll. When you drop his ass, I want you to drop him right into that greenhouse. Antoine, if your fat ass survive, I hope you end up with a permanent speech impediment. Drop his ass.
We need to figure out a way to make some money. I hustle for a living, Connor. I got money. Enough for all of us? Glowy, we need to figure out a way to make some money. So what are you two good at besides arguing all the time? Riding motorcycles and shooting. And I'm pretty good at forgery also. That would be awesome if it was 1985 when everybody was writing checks. Not so much now. And what about you? Well, I'm not above robbing or stealing. What? I'm just putting that out there. What about kidnapping? Wait, hold on. Are you serious? Is she serious? I want to say no, but I'm sure ragdolls in hell want water too. What the hell does that cryptic shit mean? For the record, I'm not kidnapping any ragdolls. All right, everybody, let's get this party popping. I got places to go, puppets to see. Alexa, status report. I'm all good on my end. I'm bringing up the external elevator and closing bay doors now. What's the time frame on that? Four minutes and 15 seconds. Bumbles, mark that time. Give me a ding every minute on the minute. When it gets to the last minute, give me a ding every 10 seconds. Hey, Siri, status report. Oh, all my shit is tight, Captain. I'm ready when your ass is ready. That's what I'm talking about, Siri. Mumbles, give me the engine room. Yeah, Captain, what you need? Status report, how we looking on that warp drive? Hey, Vinny, how we looking over there? We're all good over here, Donnie. Tell Captain, let's get this shit started. We're all good down here, Cap. Let's get this shit started. Stun gun, what about the passenger floors? Is everybody in their rooms? Doors closed? Locked down? Everything looks good, boss. Everything good, good and quiet, boss. Good and quiet. Cover me while I figure out how to work this damn lift. I got you. Well, hell, ragdoll, it ain't that damn hard. It only got two buttons. On the turf, if it's so damn easy, you can get your country ass out here and do it then. Hell no, ragdoll. Why in tarnations would I do that? You already over there. You make the same amount of sense as a broken payphone. Hurry up, fish. On hood, I got this shit working. The bay doors are closed, Captain. We are good to go. Blinks. Head to the mess hall and grab me a fort. Business is about to get handled. All stations. Engage this big bitch.
couple chains from my neck, them bitches dancing. Yeah, you see him. Drop the top on that shit, let them see him. Let them see me. Who the man? I'm the man, bitch, you see him. Uh-huh. Everything a nigga copy black, I don't uh-huh. get money, nigga. He can't really talk it, he ain't live it. Uh-huh. All these boys walk around like they getting it. Little ho, nigga, think we really playing with this shit. Grown man, you really better off playing with your bitch. Suck a nigga, get the tripping round this bitch, but keep it calm, though. Really got the yell, kill them boys off the kind flow. Nigga with the kind face, hit him with a combo. Baby, this that guy flow. Mitch, you got that guy glow. Money, uh. I've been out the way, been on my grind. Stand out you suckers' way, I ain't got the time. Bayin' something about that paper, make us go nuts. Ten chains, they say I change, bitch.